Hello, this video will show you how to solve Bertrand competition when the firms are producing differentiated goods. In this setup we're going to have two firms. The firms are going to set price and they're going to set price simultaneously at the same time. Firm 1 has marginal cost equal to zero. Firm 2 has marginal cost equal to zero. This simplification keeps the math a little bit easier for us. Firm 1's demand equation is given as follows. The Q subscript 1 is firm 1's output. The P subscript 1 is firm 1's price. P subscript 2 is firm 2's price. Over here for firm 2, we have its demand equation. Q subscript 2 is firm 2's output. And then the respective prices here. So this can be a profit maximization problem. And so we can rely on the marginal revenue equals marginal cost approach. So let's get started here with firm 1. Firm 1's total revenue is going to be Firm 1's price times Firm 1's output. So for Q subscript 1, I'm just substituting in Firm 1's demand equation. After multiplying through by firm 1's price, we're left with the following total revenue equation. We can do the same thing for firm 2. Firm 2's total revenue is firm 2's price times firm 2's output. And this will equal following. Notice that e these equations are mirror images of one another. The next thing we're going to get is marginal revenue for firm one. And here we're going to get marginal revenue by taking the derivative or partial derivative of the total revenue equation with respect to firm one's price leaving us with the following result. Next we're just going to set marginal revenue equal to firm 1's marginal cost. Solving for firm one's price. We're going to be left with this expression. So solving for firm one's price from this equation here, dividing through by six, we get this result. This is a reaction function. Given any price for firm 2, we'll get firm 1's best response in terms of its profit maximizing price. We want to do the same exact thing for firm 2. Let's get marginal revenue for firm 2. Marginal revenue for firm 2 looks a lot like marginal revenue for firm 1, except the P terms are reversed. We're going to set marginal revenue for firm 2 equal to its marginal cost, which is still 0. And then we're going to solve for P2. Solving for P2. we get this result, which is also a reaction function. We got two reaction functions here. Firm 2's reaction function gives its best response given any price that Firm 1 charges for its product. All right, so again, the whole idea of this problem is to find the profit maximizing price for Firm 1 and Firm 2. 
Well, we're almost there. We're left with two equations and two unknowns. So let me get a clean sheet here. Firm one's reaction function. I'll rewrite it once again. Looks like that. And firm two's reaction function. Looks like that. All I'm going to do is plug in firm two's reaction function into firm one's reaction function. So I took this 12 plus 1 third P subscript 1, this right here, and plugged it in for P subscript 2. Simplifying. Simplifying some more. And a little bit more. Solving for P1. Firm 1's price is $18. To get Firm 2's price, plug $18 into Firm 1's reaction function. And in this case, you'll get $18 as well. So that's the basics of solving Bertrand competition with differentiated goods. Now one other, I guess, minor point, if you wanted to get how much output Firm 1 and Firm 2 are going to produce, you can just evaluate both or either demand equation at the respective prices. Okay, so in this case, it looks like each firm will produce 54 units of output. Okay, hope you found this video helpful.